Hello everyone, today I will be talking about the vector-borne diseases in poultry for our course Poultry Production by Group 4. So first up is what is a vector disease? So vector disease are organisms that transmit pathogens and parasites to a person or animal and this can cause serious diseases. What are the vectors that are involved in poultry? So for here, we have five types, rodents, flies, mosquitoes, lice or mites, and wild birds. So first up are rodents. The diseases are transmitted to hosts by direct transmission through direct contact or from droplet spread and rodent wool. Now in humans, direct contact occurs through skin-to-skin -skin contact and sexual intercourse with an infected person. An example of diseases spread through rodents is red bite fever. The infection occurs through a bite or a scratch wound from an infected rodent, direct contact with a dead rodent, or eating or drinking food and water that is contaminated by red feces that carry infectious agents. Next is leptospirosis. The infection occurs when eating food or drinking water contaminated with the urine from infected rodents, direct contact of the skin or mucous membranes, such as inside of the nose, with water or soil that is contaminated with the urine from infected rodents. Next is the hunter virus pulmonary syndrome. This disease is carried by the mouse deer, cotton rat, rice rat, and the white-footed mouse. Infection happens when breathing in dust that is contaminated with the root, rodents' urines or droppings, direct contact with rodents or their urine and droppings, and also bite wounds. Next up is flies. At the larval and mature stages, they are common in poultry farms, garbages, and slaughterhouses. The transmission of pathogen happens in three ways. The pathogens stick to the fly's body parts, to the legs and proboscis of flies, the pathogens are deposited along the vomit job onto the food because their mode of feeding is sucking the food after liquefaction in regurgitated saliva and the pathogens are deposited in their feces after passing through the guts. The next vector disease is from avians or wild birds. One of the diseases is avian influenza. Now this is a viral disease which ranges from mild or even asymptomatic form to an acute fatal form depending on the viral type. In Malaysia, where we have experienced avian influenza virus outbreaks over the past three decades. Avian influenza also affects poultry. This virus will produce depression, ruffled feathers, loss of an appetite, excessive thirst, stoppage of egg production, and watery diarrhea. For adult birds, they show swollen combs, bottles, and oedema around the eye. 